Hey everyone, Kelly of Kelbell Studio here with another edition of uh, Corset Diaries. And this month's corset inspiration is Sugar Plum Fairy. So my corset looks kind of like a ballerina. And there's a little bit of pink and a little bit of white and she looks very fluffy and feathery and I've left some rough edges this time just because uh, I like the I like the look of it. It's very arty looking, especially in this particular piece. I just I left the neckline, you know, the cheesecloth that I use when I when I construct these at the beginning. Obviously, it's at the beginning. So this is how she looks, and we're gonna make this little sugar plum fairy. This is what your sugar plum corset template looks like for December. Per usual, I will leave a link in this video as well as in the description so that you can go grab this. You'll notice that there is a dotted line at the bottom of this and that is to extend the corset out. I've got a piece cut out so when I cut out my piece I went right down to that dotted line and this is the actual piece that I'm using right here but if I overlay this on there you can see they're the same size. So what you want to do is come all the way down to that dotted line and cut out your pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this edge here with a stylus. So if I just take this and go around the edge with the template overlaid right on top of my actual piece, that's going to give me a folding line. Can you see that? Yeah, a little bit. So you can see that score line came through on the other side. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take and snip this. So from this bottom edge right up to that line, you know, and this doesn't have to be in any kind of way. And if you like to, do you want to make sure these are lined up? I think I have this off a little bit. Anyway, make little, you know, cuts like that so they don't get in the way of each other. You know, that's fine to do too. So in the end, you have something that looks like this, and you can take that off. And this is actually going to, wrong way, flip up. So you don't really have to do this right now because we still need to glue this to our other, you know, our other side and cover as normal. So when I put my glue on this, I'm going to put the glue on this side and then adhere it. In this case, I kept my corset white, so I'm going to adhere it to, we'll just use this, my white paper like this, and then when I cut, this is how we've been doing this. You know, you're going to come out to the side just to give it a little bit extra, but you don't have to come all the way out to these tabs. These tabs don't need to be covered. You don't need to do anything with them. They just uh, need to be here because it's going to help you when you adhere your skirt to this. It's going to it's going to make it stand out and stick out because you want it to stick out versus I've got these all in bags now versus something like this where it just hangs down. You know, you want it to be a nice fluffy tutu like skirt. So that is the point of these. So just to show you what I'm doing with my cutting, basically when you're cutting you want anything that's going to remain open to stay open. So I've glued my piece onto my decorative paper but in this case it's going to be white. So this is actually going to be the inside and this would end up being the outside. So we're extending 
this out. I've gone over this in other videos, and for the sake of not repeating myself, that's why I haven't repeated it in subsequent videos. But this one is a little bit different. So I know it's kind of hard to see with the white paper, but we're going to make this tab come out. And I'm not going to worry about these tabs down here. So I can extend this up. And pretty much same with this other side. It's easier for me to do this. And I'm just extending. And then I can push these up. Actually, you can follow it around or you don't have to follow it around. Whichever is going to be the easiest. So I'm pushing these up just to get them out of the way so that I can cut. And then I can come down here. And this isn't going to be seen anyway. It's going to be covered up, so don't worry about being exact or extremely perfect. So this is actually... I would fold these the other way. So this is actually my front piece. You know, and you guys know what to do because you're doing the same thing. You're doing the tabs. And I might trim this down just a little bit. And again, you know, something like that if you so desire. And then your other template piece. This is the inside of the back. And it too, you know, obviously this is my template part, so it's not it's not cut out, but goes on the back like this, and then these tabs get glued, and then that gets flipped over. This is a real down and dirty tutorial on covering these, because again, uh, if you want in-depth, more in-depth detail of how to do this, you can refer to the very first video, because that's where I go over this stuff. And So this would be glued down like this and cut out, and your tabs come up like this for your tutu. So, and you're going to get what that looks like when I'm doing it on my, on the actual piece that I created. So, it's going to look something like this. Okay? So that's that. Okay, what I'm starting with this time is a plain white corset, and I rather like the arty look of the top of this, so I'm not going to edge it with anything. I like it just the way it is. I mean, this is going to be a ballet dress, so it should look, it should have a feathery look to it. And the tabs, this was actually once straight, and I just cut tabs around the outline because this is what is going to give my dress some lift. So my thoughts on this are to just take some feathery handmade paper, if I can pick it up, something like this that I've torn into strips. And I've actually sprayed this. Wow, that is really bright. <laughs> anyway, I've sprayed this with some paint. And basically what that is, this is something that I bought, but the concept is still the same. And that is if you have a, like a little spray bottle, even a hairspray bottle, I've used hairspray bottles before, with some acrylic paint. I happen to be using this pearlescent liquid acrylic because it has a shimmer to it. 
It's like glimmer mist, making your own glimmer mist. Only I don't particularly like the glimmer mist color, so I'm using this. But anyway, this is my handmade paper. And basically, I'm just going to overlay it, you know, on top. Or it can be, you know, underneath. That's fine. Maybe I'll just do that. I don't know. And then some other, just some regular paper. And I'm just going to build this skirt basically in layers. So here's some more handmade paper, which is a lot thinner than this regular white paper. And so I've just got a piece of regular white paper overlaid on top of my sprayed handmade paper. I'm just going to lay it over the top like that. So basically this is what this dress looks like and like I said I'm just going to build it in layers so I'm not going to do that on camera. But you get the idea. Something like that to make it look like a feathery ballet skirt. Okay so I've done most of this off, well <laughs> practically all of it off camera and this is it's just layered handmade papers and also just regular plain paper so I gave her a little sash because she wasn't looking very pointed down at this uh, lower end here so I put the sash around to add that point it's amazing what you can do with paper to give the suggestion of something so there are some papers that I left white and some that are sprayed pink. I think I talked about how I how I did that too. And then I've tied her already. I'm thinking I've been tying these at the top, but I'm thinking they should probably get tied at the bottom, so I might try that next time, but it looks okay for our purposes here. I don't have much left to do on this. I'm really liking the raggedy edges. It looks very arty. I love that arty, sort of um, rough look sometimes, you know? So I might add a little bit of glitter because this is a sugar plum fairy, so she might need a little glitter on the bottom of these skirts and maybe a little bit up top, I don't know. Not quite certain about that, maybe I'll commit to that. The only other thing I really want to do is, of course, you're not going to be shocked at this, is to put a little leaf and a rose, which I think just makes this look so adorable. Nothing up at the neckline, I'm just going to leave it as is, so real kind of simple and plain, but very feathery and pretty. This handmade paper has fibers in it, and when I pull them out, it sort of feathers the paper a little bit when I tear it, so it looks great. I love this. Very pretty. So let me just uh, add some glitter, and we'll put the little rose on her and call her done. So once I get that rose put on and have added the glitter, I can give her a little hanger and call our little sugar plum fairy done. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get this to sparkle for you on camera. I had a hard time when I was trying before, but maybe I'll be able to capture it in a photograph, which you can hopefully see on my blog. So, Anyway, hope you get some inspiration for your own little sugar plum fairy corset, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.